The Akwaibom State Government has further demonstrated its commitment to the provision of free basic education in public schools, with the approval for the upgrading and adoption of seven community schools by the government. Also, transport operators in the state are to henceforth benefit from an insurance scheme to cushion the effect of accidents while in service, he announced. These were parts of the four major decisions taken Wednesday during the State Executive Council meeting presided over by the Governor in Council, Mr. Odomi Mano. Addressing Government House reporters after the session, Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Charles Udo, named the affected schools as Community Technical College, Ikorodo, Ikorekwene, Urban High School, Ikorakwane, Sien, Oruganam, Excellence Comprehensive Secondary School, Ikoruya, Angparanen, Migrant Secondary School, Emeruke, Isinobolo, Community Comprehensive Secondary School, Ekeya Okobo, Union Secondary School, Ibiaku, Ibionibo, and a Community Secondary School, Uraobo, Ikora Tausung, Ikora Bonguduro, Ikore Pene. Mr. Rudo explains that the schools which were owned by the communities did not take part in the free program of the government, and the government decided to take over the schools in a spit to provide its qualitative and free education to our communities. These schools from September become beneficiaries of um, free and compulsory basic education in Akwaibom State. Now this is not the end of it. Several other schools, as they meet the criteria, would be considered because the goal ultimately is to ensure that free and compulsory basic education permeates every nook and cranny of Akwaibom State. On the insurance scheme for transport operators, Commissioner Udo said that 5% of the amount paid as taxes will be deposited with the insurance company in trust and all the participants will be entitled to some benefits in the event of an accident. His Excellency has also approved that transport operators from now on, from now on would benefit from an insurance scheme. Now the idea of having an insurance scheme for the transport operators is to ensure that their safety is well taken care of in the event of accidents and all that. By this scheme, the amount of money that transporters pay to buy tickets, the government will take 5% of that amount and pay to an insurance company in trust. So when a given um, transporter has, who, who is part of that scheme is involved in an accident, it means that the insurance would have to take care of some agreed um, part of that um, treatment. The state government also approved the adoption and implementation of an Akwaibom State Rural Development Master Plan to ensure that more rural development projects are executed to a faster rate, with over 150 of such projects already completed in the last two years. The commissioner, whose ministry had metamorphosed from information and communications to information and strategy, added that the Department of Strategy has also been approved for his ministry. And so the council has today approved the Aquaibum State Rural Development Master Plan. And then the last major decision that was taken today is, um, has to do with Ministry of Information. Recall that before now the ministry was known as the Ministry of Information and Communications. And um, in the new dispensation, the ministry uh, was renamed Ministry of Information and Strategy. But of course, since then, the strategy part hasn't been functioning. And so today, ESCO has approved that the strategy department will be set up and becomes fully functional. Now, there are a whole lot of things that need to be done to put that in place. And government is hopeful and has firm belief that that strategy department would be able to deliver on its mandate. And today, ESCO has approved that. He reiterated the pledge of the Udomi Mono led administration to the actualization of his five-point agenda for the overall benefit of the people of the state.